Hey guys, today I'll be showing a full tutorial on how to install Rayonex custom firmware and home relauncher onto your Switch. So, first of all, you need to find out whether or not your Switch can be exploited to install the custom firmware. To do that, head over to the GBA Tama thread and check your serial number of your Switch to see if it can be hacked. Now that you know your Switch can be hacked, I would recommend using 90DNS to be able to connect to the internet with less of a risk of being banned by Nintendo. This is optional, but it'll be handy later as you'll be able to use things like the Homebrew App Store, which require internet access, and you won't get banned. So, to use 90DNS, you'll need to go into your Switch's settings, then to Internet, and then select your Wi-Fi network. Once you've selected your Wi-Fi, go into Change Settings and turn DNS Settings to Manual. Set the primary DNS to 163.172.14.219, and set your secondary DNS to 45.248.48.62. You now need to download the payload injector for your operating system. I've linked downloads from Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android in the description below so you can download them. You'll also need to download the sdfiles.zip, which is also in the description. Extract the sdfiles.zip and the Tegra RCM zip if you've downloaded that. Okay, so now you need to turn off your switch and take out the SD card. Insert it into your computer and copy the extracted contents of sdfiles.zip onto your SD card. Now that the files are copied over, put the SD card back into your Switch, but don't turn it on. Now you need to find a way to get your console into RCM mode. To do this, you'll need to buy or make a jig, or find some other way to boot your Switch into RCM mode, such as modifying your right Joy-Con using tin foil or another way. I'll be using the modded right Joy-Con in this video, but the other way should work the same. Once you have your jig or modded Joy-Con plugged in, you need to hold down volume up and press the power button at the same time for a few seconds. If your screen stays black, you've successfully booted into RCM. Now that you're in RCM mode, connect your Switch to your PC or Android. In this video, I'll be using my PC. Now that it's connected, open the payload injector program for your device. In my case, I'm using Tegra RCM because I'm on Windows. Once you're in the program, select the Hackity bin from the extracted sdfiles.zip and click on Inject Payload. Your Switch should now be in the Hackity menu. So, to navigate the menu, use the volume buttons for up and down, and the power button to select. Before proceeding, I recommend making a backup of your Switch. To make a backup, go into Tools, then to Backup, and then select Boot 0 slash 1, and also Raw GPP. Once you've finished making those backups, which will take a while, at least one hour, then go back into the main Hackity menu. Now, go to Launch, then Payloads, and choose a Rayonex.bin file. Once you choose the rayonx.bin file, your switch should show the rayonx logo and also the name. Then your switch should appear to boot up as normal. That means that it succeeded. Once your switch has booted up, try going into the album and you'll be in the homebrew menu. You can use the homebrew app store to download more homebrew apps like emulators, tools, or other things. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, then why not subscribe? If you didn't, then you can tell me why in the comments so you can help me improve.